over our man, Mr. Basil Chapman, as we do each and every Tuesday. And don't forget, folks, Basil has an outstanding newsletter every trading day. And, of course, he does a program every trading day. Outstanding program. It's very easy to get Basil's newsletter. The way you get Basil's newsletter, you come over to our website at TFNN. You're going to hit newsletters. You're going to see it right on the left-hand side. You just hit that subscribe button. You can get Basil's newsletter for one month for $149. You get it for six months for $6.95, which is the savings of $199 or 22%. And you get it for one year for $11.95, which is a savings of $593 or 33%. Now, they all come with a 30-day money-back guarantee. He has 11 to 12 great archives of there, folks, so you understand exactly how he looks at the market, how you ride that wave. It comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee. Come over here, check it out. If it works for you, awesome. If it doesn't... For some reason, 28th day, you just cancel it, you get your money back, and you're going to have a great education in between that anyway. Basil Chapman, what's going on? Hi, Tom. Well, interestingly enough, uh, we're still up in the 60-degree area here in uh, Boston. Uh, it's amazing, but that's fantastic. I like that. All right, that's a beautiful thing, and I can picture why, because when it's 60 up there, folks, and it's November 1st, it's too hot here, and right now it's oh. 89 degrees out. Oh, yeah. well, thank you very much. And we want to get rid of that weather. <laughs> well, you did. You just pushed it up to us. Thank you. Yeah, very much. yeah. Yeah, talking about up, looking at the Dow, this is very interesting. I thought what I'd do, I'd just give a, a brief summation of what I do for subscribers to open awesome. a call. Yeah. And uh, basically, we're always looking for the lowest low bar. In, it doesn't matter whether it's a one-minute chart or a weekly or a daily or a monthly. And that's where we start the wave count. And the wave count, basically, you're looking at each higher high peak. And I alphabetize them sequentially A through Q, a G. It's at the fourth highest peak, peak A, peak B, second, the third one is C, and the fourth one is D. That's the anticipation when we've gotten a buy signal that's upgraded to a buy mode. Then in the Chapman wave, it should take you to at least the fourth highest peak, and then you use other techniques. It could be as simple as just continuing the wave count. That's where D, other things can happen. So let me show you. Oh, and I'll show you something else just to go with that. So I look at straight line up, straight line down. Cup formation, art formation, and a mixture of the two. One and one and three in this case is red because if you take out that left side low, especially if you've only made one peak like a peak A or a B and then fail and take it out, that's very negative. If you hold, that's very good. And on the right, if you take out the left side high, it can go higher. So what do we have? Let me just move that away. In the Dow... Uh, we are long the Dow, and it made. I can't. I can't tell you how many times in my show. Uh, even today, there are so many charts that I have looked at. That at the top, we were making tops all year. We were within sometimes, even if it's a monthly chart going back a year or more. We would often get back to that previous high within a dollar. Sometimes it's within pennies. I don't know how that works, but that that's just the cup formation. That's the way it works in the in the arch formation. Look at this. The Dow went to 28,715 <clears throat> back late September. Then it rallied up quite sharply to 30,400, came down and hit 28,660. That's within 50 points of that left side low. But at the same time, what I was really impressed with um, is that the MACD was improving. The stochastic made a higher low. The unbalanced on balance volume has been pretty negative just until uh, going into two days ago. That was good. But the nine period moving average went over the 14. So that's very favorable. So we, we are long and we added uh, about, I think it was Friday a week ago, we added uh, the three time long position to the Dow. Today we took a little bit off at a 30% profit on that position. But it's still, look, there's your. So what did I say? We we're always looking for at least four peaks to a peak D. Right. He has your leg, D. It's not a peak yet because if we make a lower low than 32,975 today, that will make a peak. But all the technicals are holding very Basil, well. Basil, can you just say that last sentence again? So I'm looking so, at that chart. If you could just say that last so, sentence again. So my objective was for us to get to a leg D. We yep. made a peak C, and I had a whole thing for my subscribers. There's a, a, a Morabonzo can sorry, Morabonzo candle, this very long uh, candle with, usually it has no wicks, but I included if it has just the tiniest wick on the top and the tiniest wick at the bottom is the same kind of candle. And I see to subscribers on uh, during my weekend overview video that I sent out. Um, 
I'm expecting a possible, maybe a small doji candle and then a down session, unless there's a huge gap to the upside, but we've used up all the gaps. So here's another Moroboza candle. So, so we are we, up. that's what I'm trying to figure out. Are we at a peak D? We're at a leg D. We cannot make a peak D until you get a lower high. And that means- Right, but that's, that's interesting. And the reason I'm asking yeah. folks is that with the Fed coming out tomorrow, because that could be right. dangerous a little. Yeah, interesting. So okay, there, there okay. Couple, so have a look at this. The S&P has also gone to a leg a D, then it made a peak D yesterday, and today it made a nominal new high at E. Okay. So there's another technique that I use, and that's using a cup formation where I call it bar symmetry, where the number of bars on the left side, whether it's going from a price down and then back again, or from a price that's running up and then coming back, like the arch formation, that symmetry is what I look at. Sometimes you can get an exact low that has a beautiful price and time match. Sometimes it doesn't work that way. So I use other tech, Chapman Wave techniques to identify that. When I identify this one going to leg C for the test of 32,500, we got there. Look at this. Here's the midpoint. And we got the, the exact day right there on Friday. So I said, okay, we've used up that. Now I have to use a different uh, midpoint. I call it the plumb line. And I use this one here, which was the low of 28,715 uh, right here. That was the bar of the 30th of September. And we have another two or three days to go to attempt to get to this high that's on the left side on the 26th of August of uh, 33,364. But it's achieved everything that I wanted. That's why for this particular phase, now I look at the MACD, it's strong. Stochastics flat on balance volume is just lagging, but the, this gray line is a relative strength. It's good. It's way above the 200 period moving average. So, so far, that's good. So, as, a, a, as an example, for, I mentioned to you last week that we were long Bank of America. We've been long, long maybe uh, s over the last seven years, about six times, we, we try to buy it at a low and then ride it up. And at some point, we get out and we'll get stopped out with a profit, and then we just wait until we get, get back in. So we're back in, in the 30, uh, 31s, and it's trading at 36, and it's only at leg C, but here's another technique. I'll discuss this a little bit in more detail tomorrow in my show, The Tiger Technician's Hour at 10. So this, look how the price was up, 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 and then it suddenly stalled. Where did it stall? One, two, three, four, five days. It stopped right at the 200 period exponential moving average. So that's now like a magnet. It means that, yes, Bank of America, unless it goes into the 3780s in this particular move, it's at 3618 right now, it's probably going to hang around you just a little bit longer. It's got good support at the 30, uh, I'd, I'd say 3530 area. So that's the way I like to look at it. So it's in a buy mode. It's doing very well. It's stalled exactly where we said, be careful. That's where it could stall at the 200 period moving average. So I'll use this as an example. I was going to use it on the Dow. If Bank of America or the Dow closes above that arch high that was made uh, a, a couple of months ago, that's going to be very important and very positive for the market. So all in all, I, I'm looking at this very favorably. I like that the cyclicals are rallying and that the uh, tech sector is still struggling a little bit. And folks, <clears throat> very easy to get his newsletter. Come over to our website at TFNN Newsletters, the opening call. Bows, have a great one, safe one. We look forward to show tomorrow. Thank you, Tom. You too. Thank you.